Good morning, students. Now, I welcome you all to the family of Informats. And with the very first lecture, dear students, this is my very first lecture of English in which I'll be giving you the pattern of various examinations which are conducted in MCA entrance exams. Now, if we categorize how many chapters are there in English, so definitely, first of all, when we are targeting to MCA entrance, so definitely one thing comes into mind, that is NITs, which is a dream university for all the students, IITs, JNU, Delhi University, Punjab University, Chandigarh, Pune University main campus, Maharashtra, and various other state level and government universities of India. When we are talking about English, then in English, which are the chapters which are there in English? Is very first chapter and the basic chapter, which we usually start with, is vocabulary test. Then the second chapter fill in the blanks. Third chapter is errors. Before the errors, we do errors, we have to go for parts of speech. So we have to study parts of speech. If we are very much clear about parts of speech, Indirectly, we can go for errors very easily. Fifth is comprehension packages, uh, passages. Comprehension, we should have a very good practice of comprehension, how to go for it. Sixth is one word substitution. The miscellaneous chapters, which we have to cover in English. One word substitution. Idioms and phrase. Eighth is rearrangement of a sentence. So, dear students, these are the various chapters which we have to cover in English in MC entrance for MC entrance exam. So, this is chapters which are basically stand up chapters for all of us, which we have to focus on. Now we have to see where these chapters in in which university which chapters because in all the universities these chapters are not included definitely so we have to look for it which chapters are included in english in various other universities so let's see which are the chapters which we have to cover Now, let's start with it. Now, the very first university, I will start the universities by the time during which, from, see, MC entrance exams, they start in the month of December. So, the very first exam in December is JNU Delhi, Jawaharlal Nehru University, Delhi, one of the best universities of India. In this exam, Dear students, there is no English paper is there. So when I am taking about English exam, so I'll be telling you about English. Second university which is there, which comes the paper is in February, Pune University. Again, for Pune University exam, one or two questions of English are there, and these questions are particularly based upon vocabulary. And the vocabulary is a simple level vocabulary. You don't have to go in depth. Like we'll be taking the lectures on vocabulary in the same way. And I'll be telling you up what are the types of questions you are asked in vocabulary during these examinations. Then there is no other exam in February. Then comes March. 
in March. Our first exam is Maharashtra CET. So it is a combined exam for full, full Pune and Mumbai universities. So over here also, there are 25 questions of general aptitude plus 25 questions of computer concepts. In general aptitude, we have to go for maths, which are approximately 10 to 15 questions. Then we are getting English in five questions and reasoning in quant, like five to six questions. And in English, you can get vocabulary, again the same thing, and a comprehension, a small, small comprehension. We have to practice in Maharashtra CT exam. Then the next exam comes in April, which is our main exam, is IP Delhi. So it diversifies that IP Delhi can be held in April, or in May. It depends upon the announcements every year. Sometime it is in April end or it is in May. So the second week is there. So it is a different case. So in both the cases, so if we are doing English, so you can say the maximum of English it comes in IP Delhi that is of 35 to 38 marks of English is there. Which is chapters which are included is that means 25 percent of the whole paper of IP Delhi it comprises of English, in which it includes vocabulary, fill in the blanks, comprehension. See, vocabulary you can expect around about six to seven questions, fill in the blanks again, eight to ten questions. Then errors around about four questions, four to five questions. Then we are having comprehension. There are small comprehensions, two comprehensions are there in IP Delhi, which comprises gain of five to six questions. Then idioms are there, idioms or phrases are there. So we have a full lot of English over here which we have to cover. Then again in May, this is, we are having our next exam, that is BHU, that is IIT Banaras. Now again, there is no English is there in IIT Banaras. In May end, we are having our next exam, end of May, our next exam is there, that is NIT, which is the best very important exam for all of us, in which there are total 20 questions of English and one question is of four marks. It's very important to mention here, dear students, that in NIT exam, one question of mathematics, it comprises of 16 marks, sorry, 12 marks. One question of computers is of eight marks. One question of Reasoning and quant is of six marks, and one quotient of English is of four marks. So this is the criteria. Now in English, which chapters are included is mainly you can say the same thing: vocabulary. Around about you can say three or four questions of vocabulary are there. Then fill in the blanks. You can say three to four are in the blanks, errors, idioms, or you can say one word substitution and rearrangement of a sentence, one or two questions. Total comprises of 20 questions are there in English. This. Then, our next exam in June is VIT Velour. Again, there is no English is there. Pattern has been changed. No English is there. Then in June, around June, second week, we are having next exam, Punjab University, Chandigarh. 
in which we are having only 10 questions of English out of 75 questions, which comprises of vocabulary, fill in the blanks, errors, one word substitution, So, these are the various chapters which come. Vocabulary is two to three questions, two to three questions of fill in the blanks, two to three questions of errors, or one to two questions of one word substitution is there in Punjab University Chandigarh. Then in July, we are having our next exam that is Delhi University, which is our last exam, Chandigarh. Again, no English is there. So, I have missed a very important exam that is IGIT Delhi. This is the exam which have been introduced last year only in 2016 MCA entrance exams. And again, it is just a girls' college it's having its own exam. Earlier it was in the NIT, but from the last year, IGIT is taking its own paper. So for IGIT, uh, guys, you can say English is very, very important. So girls have to prepare more of English. That is again 25% of the whole paper consists of only English, which comprises of all the subjects, vocabulary, fill in the blanks, comprehension, errors, parts of speech, one word substitution, so these all are incorporated in our main exam of IGIT, which is a girls' college, and definitely is one of the best exam. And this year, Infomaths have out of 15 seats, Infomaths have captured total 14 seats out of 15 in IGIT Delhi. So this was a consolidated way of teaching English by Infomaths. How we teach English, and what are the various in like components which come in various examinations, which will be very helpful for you all people to understand how much part of English is important for you in each and every exam. So never before sitting for any exam, you should know the pattern of a paper when you're sitting there. What, how many questions are there for how many, uh, in which exam, how much of maths, how much of reasoning, how much of quant, English, is English is there or not? Because in many exams, English is not coming. So this is, that's why I have consolidated that now you can study it well 